Good day, viewers, and you are welcome. How to solve these derivative equations? If you have x plus xy plus y equals 64, and we want to find x plus y, given that xy are both members of an integer. So to start with, given this, we are going to add 1 to both sides, and we have x plus xy plus y plus 1 equals 64 plus 1. So the reason I did this is, we have x plus xy here. If I factor out x, we are left with 1 plus y. So which means this is also another y plus 1 or 1 plus y, which are commutative. So here, when we take out x, we have this as 1 plus y, or we call it y plus 1. Plus also here we put it in bracket, which is y plus 1 equals 65. And here we have y plus 1 common, so and there is 1 here, which means we take this and this together. Here is x plus 1, and here is y plus 1 equals 65. So to get the value of x and y in this, we have to consider the factors of 65, I mean all the factors of 65, and those factors must be a member of an integer. And suppose we have, here is the principal value, which is 65. So here are the possible values we are going to have for 65. So for the first one, we can have 1 multiplied by 65. And we can also have 65 multiplied by 1. And again, we can still have minus 65 multiplied by minus 1. And we also have minus 1 multiplied by minus 65. Again, we can still have 5 multiplied by 13. Or we have 13 multiplied by 5. While for the last one, which is minus 5 multiplied by minus 13 or we can still have it as minus 13 multiplied by minus 5. Here are the old things we are going to consider for this problem. But looking at this, if you have to go with minus 65 multiplied by minus 1, this indeed will not satisfy these uh, equations. So which means this one is neglected and later I will test for it if it's going to be equal or not. So which means we go for this, 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 and uh, the all of these two. So for the first one, we have x plus 1 bracket y plus 1 equals 65. So by going with the first one here, it means that x plus 1 equals 1. And we have... Uh, y plus 1 equals 65. So for here, x equals 0, and here, y equals 64. When we let x plus 1 equals 1, and y plus 1 equals 65. Again, when we let x plus 1 equals 65, and y plus 1 equals 1. What we are going to get here is, x will be equals 64, and uh, y equals 0. Here are the two results for this. Again, when we consider this 5 multiplied by 13 and 13 multiplied by 5, what we are going to have is x plus 1 equals 5, and we have y plus 1 equals 13. And with this, we have x equals 4, and uh, y equals 12. 
So when you go with x plus 1 equals 13 and y plus 1 equals 5 as well. So we have the reverse order that is x here will be equals 12 and the y will be equals 4. So which give the second case. Why for the third case? When we have the negative of all this, that is when we have x plus 1 equals minus 5 and the y plus 1 equals minus 13. For here we have x equals minus 6 and we have y equals minus 14. Similarly, we still have x equals minus 14 and uh, we have y equals minus 6. So if this one gives the whole of the result for all these three cases. So therefore, <clears throat> I'm not going to test for everything. So I want to find x plus y in this. And suppose I sampled at this place, which is when x equals minus 6, y equals minus 4. We know that x plus y here is going to be minus 20. But does this one give the full details of the equations? So let's test in the original equation, giving x plus xy plus y equals 64. And we try to input this value to test if the left hand side equals the right hand side. So we are giving x plus xy plus y equals 64. And at x equals minus 6, y equals minus 14. We plug it in this. So x here is minus 6 plus open bracket. So here we have x which is minus 6 and we have y which is minus 4. Uh, minus 14 then when we multiply two together so no minus multiply minus and it become plus and six multiply by um six multiply by 14 what we are going to get is so we multiply six by four we get 24 and we have four carry two then six multiply by the six and here is 84 minus uh 14 so subtraction of all these, you know, when we add this and this together, we get minus 20 plus 84, which everything gives 64. So which means this value is true. And similarly, when we test for this, it's also true. So again, if we try to test for this as well, so it's going to be equal. Yeah, so it's going to be equal. And uh, when we test for this as well, it's still going to be equal. It is only when we test for this. So it's not going to be equal. So we can verify that. All right. So x plus y equals minus 20 is one of the solution. So we can still test for this. Uh, 4 plus 12 is uh, plus 20. Uh, when we test for this, 0 plus 64, that is 64. So which means the all solution for x plus y are 64. 20 and uh, minus 20 as x y are the main value of integer thanks for watching and uh, if you have another way of doing this you can drop into the comment box and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more exciting math content like this i will see you in the next video never stop learning bye bye